Good morning, and congratulations, fellow graduates. Today is the day we celebrate the hardships, sacrifices, long nights, the countless tears, and the many pep talks to keep going. Today is also the day we like to th thank those who supported us, pushed us, and believed in us, maybe when we didn't believe in ourselves. Thank you to everyone here, especially those family members and friends who pushed your graduate to get here. I would like to add a personal thank you to Dr. Collins, Dr. Stewart, the committee staff, Logan and Tristan Solano, behavioral change agents, and Miss Amy. I'm here because of you. Today is the day. For some of us here, higher education was a shot in the dark, something that was out of our reach. For others, it felt like our destiny, something that was written in stone. Regardless of which story is yours, you did it, we did it, and we're here. It's time to embark on a new beginning. Today is the day. For me, beginnings are the most stressful phases of life. The uncertainty, the anxiety, the what ifs. Let us embrace those feelings because those same feelings of uncertainty came upon us that first day of kindergarten, getting our driver's license, and even filling out that higher education application. But it's apparent that we can overcome those feelings and persevere through them because we're here. I was 17 years old when I enlisted in the Army, shipped out to basic training, got stationed in Alaska, and two weeks later, I deployed on my first tour to the Middle East. I learned swiftly that the world was much bigger than the town of 1,300 people that I had called home. Four years later, I had my son, who changed my life completely. But he was not the one who had betrothed himself to the Army lifestyle I had. As I shipped off and away to continue serving the country, he stayed back home, motherless. It was a lifestyle I knew I could not keep up, and he was two years old when I finally did something about those relentless and blistering journeys that I had been living. My son at the time had been kicked out of three separate daycares in six months. His sleep took an aggressive turn for the worse, and I found myself begging my superiors for sympathy as I drove him to and from Wisconsin each Sunday that I couldn't find help for him. Then he was diagnosed with autism. It was my answer. I remember trying to Google what that was after I got the news, and it was something that autocorrect assisted me in spelling. I didn't even know how to spell the disability that my son had, one that I knew nothing about. As a mother, I was embarrassed, scared, clueless about how I was going to help my own child. I left active duty after seven years, went into the reserves, and ran as fast as I could to the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater. I remember telling my advisor at the time, I'm 24 years old, my son has autism, I have served seven active duty years, and I need classes that appease his school and bus schedule. What can I major in that first suits him, but secondly helps me raise him to be the best, best Tristan that there is? I'll never forget the way my advisor looked at me. She then took the three pamphlets that were placed like so, neat, so neatly on her desk. What are your academic strengths? What do you dream to accomplish? And how to be this, the best student in higher education? And she neatly put them in her top drawer of her desk without making any eye contact. She and I are still great colleagues, regardless of our humility and transparency that day. Three and a half years later, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in special education. And fast forward to today, I am proud to be a special education teacher, case manager, and a lifelong learner who is fortunate enough to help others. Addressing you, fellow graduates, is an honor because I consider you to be among the highly elite. And I share my story with you 
because you too all have faced adversity and may have been told to lighten that load. I, want to sp I wanted to speak here today to encourage all of you that you are in control of your life and that with adversity comes great success stories. We are all capable of so much more than what we give ourselves credit for. Do not lighten your load because others see it as impractical or unattainable. Lighten your load when your job is done, when your dreams are your realities, and when you see the benefit of those sleepless nights and those countless tears. The late LA Laker Kobe Bryant once said, I have self-doubt, I have insecurity, I have fear of failure. I have nights when I show up at the arena and I'm like, my back hurts, my feet hurt, I don't have it, I just want to chill. We all have self-doubt. You don't deny it, but you don't capitulate to it. You embrace it. The graduates in this field house today are members of a community that refuses to surrender, stares uncertainty in the face with poise and confidence, embraces conflict, and overcomes lassitude. Let us remain humble while we remember our why. Graduates, take this time. Let us not forget our why, why we started, or maybe for who you started for. Today is the day. Life is unpredictable, and it is not always going to go the way we intended it to. As you look to build upon your own legacy, it is critically important to trust yourself, be yourself, and love yourself. If you can trust yourself, you will build a confidence level that no one can break. If you can be yourself, you will attract the right people and gain relationships that are genuine and unbreakable. And if you can love yourself, you will accept every part of you, whether it's a strength or a weakness, and then you allow yourself room to grow. When we leave here today, some of us are going back to the same job with the same people and the same responsibilities. Others might continue raising their families, and for some, they're able to start that new job that this graduation has made possible. Whatever you are doing, graduates, remain proud, diligent, humble, and determined. Stay hungry for more and never settle. I am proud of each and every one of you. On behalf of the class of 2022, thank you all for coming here today to show your support. And please join me in a round of applause to these well-deserving graduates for all of their achievements. Today is our day. Thank you.